morning so oh my god i forgot my microphone so guys this is the beginning of the journey via train to abuja we just left my house by four o'clock and then i'll be taking you through every step of the way so we're heading to delta state quarry right now and yeah They can do better. Oh, it's simple. Oh, it's fine, Sha. They tried. It's simple. It's, fine. it's like the road is. So ends. coming from Yenagua by Elsa, we got a private car to take us to Wari. <laughs> the roundabout there. So that's why we're able to leave by 4 a.m. So here so we are. If you don't have that luxury, just wait till that's the morning and then pick your mama up. So from here, we're going to look for something that will take us to the train station. Worry. And then there's some place, I think it's the Agbaro or Opao, where you can stop. And the train stops there. One of the train stops, so you can enter through that route. But yeah, that's, that's, that's what happened. So this is an update of the railway station. I don't want to use my flashlight because I don't want to put a um, light in people's eyes. Yeah, so this is um, like 6 o'clock. Let me check the time. Okay, this is like 10 minutes past 6. We left here. We got here around um, 5.55 thereabouts or 5.50. Yeah. So we are waiting on the line and as usual there are normal Nigeria chanting and cutting the line. But yeah, we are here. And truth be told, if I see an opportunity to, <laughs> to go to the front and cut the line, I swear I'll do it. Meanwhile, there is no light in the train station. I don't want to talk about the cons of this train station, but let me just focus on the good parts. Yeah. So that light comes off and on periodically. So that's the update. Okay, this is what the place looks like when the light is on and yeah, my baby is somewhere there hustling for us. I just hope that they keep to time because I heard that usually train stations are quite prompt in all their dealings. So yeah. Guys, I have a lot to talk about. A lot. So I am upset, but I'll try to not allow it to ruin my adventure. So can you imagine at the train station? We arrived early, we stood on the line like good Nigerians. Only for people to start going to cut the line until I had to behave like an ag bearer. I'm going to start protecting the line. Eventually, I reached, it reached my turn. I wanted to buy it. The girl refused to sell. She kept doing that at intervals, but I didn't know the reason why. So, when I got there, she said she's not there. I know what to do. I said, I don't know what to do. This is my first time of taking train. Ask what you want. She said she cannot ask. So, I just noticed that people were tipping her for the tickets. So, I now tipped her and bought my two tickets. Only for me to come and the train is filled up. So if you know the train is filled up, why is she selling tickets and asking for extra charge? I promise to film her next time and put it for all of you to see. After people say Buhari is your problem, everybody in Nigeria is a problem. I'm upset. Yes, I'm upset. Anyway, so we have to wait till the next stop before we find a seat because everywhere is filled up. And the next stop is Agbo. I hope it's not such a far place from here. So. Traveling partner, say hi. Hi. How's the experience been so far? It's just uh, the was happy always the best. Happy hmm? always the best. See? As in, because if we actually did happy and we would have been here since, but I said no, I want to be a good citizen. Look at what it has brought to me. I'm reaching this to this hospital. Eh? I'm reaching this to this hospital. These staffs are really not just nice. See, I'm reaching this to this hospital. I'm reaching this to this hospital. I'm reaching this to this hospital. Okay. So I think uh, the level of security is poor. It is safe. We will. Not yet, though. <laughs> Alright, Skip to the good parts. Here we go. 
my first ever train journey. Ignore the chaos at the background. Such is life. Like I said, let's keep to the good parts. So journey began with me sitting on my luggage. And then I just thought we'll have like two or three stops. But guess what, guys? The Agbo that I was talking about that uh, next stop, Agbo, I'm going to sit down. Agbo was like three or four, four stops away. So we had a total of seven to nine stops. I can't even remember. But there was the Agbaro, Opaho, Abraka, before Agbo. Then one place called Iban Ibanke, Akene. Iyum, Agene, Bode, before Ajaokuta. So the stops were so many, so many. And at each stop, people come down, more people come in. So you have to be smart. If not, you stand till Abuja or till Ajaokuta. Anyways, we had a lot of conversations on the train, interesting conversations. There were even quarrels and there was laughter afterwards. It was it was crazy, but it was fun. Aside from the fact that I had to stand for a while, oh my, I enjoyed myself. It was fun. <laughs> so yeah, but next time I'll be watching. We finally come down at Ajakuta. I'm not even seeing myself well. Oh my, this thing was hectic. But thank God. So we're looking for another taxi to go to Abuja. Yep. Okay, at Ajakuta spot, I have a lot to say about it. Number one, we are finding how to get Abuja Moto because they suddenly hyped all the prizes. And before we now rethink, all the buses are filled up. So we are going to the park to get Abuja bus. Number two, I was so hungry because I was not able to pack food. Guess what? Their food is off. I can't even eat the rice. First of all, the blue spy that I bought on the train was so ill that I had to trash it. I couldn't even eat the dough. You know when meat pie is bad, but you enjoy the dough. This dough was horrible. Now nah, I just bought rice that I want to throw away again. Even the common, even the stew, I don't even understand. Everything was so yucky. So I want to go on a bike now to the park. God be with us. So we finally reached the last bus stop, which was Ajaokuta, and then we had to look for um, a bus to take us to Abuja. But it was quite difficult getting a bus. This is what the bike man was explaining to me. So the buses were charging three, five, some even four thousand naira, and before we could make up our mind and weigh if it was worth it, all the buses were filled up. So we had to take a bike to the main road and guess how much the fare was one five can you imagine nigerians huh. it's well low. anyway shall we go to the road and in less than five minutes we saw a bus that took us to abuja um well, we finally got to abuja so we took an uber from the last bus stop to our host house somewhere around games village and then uh, we had to go and look for food to eat. Oh, need I talk about the prices of Uber in Abuja? In our one week stay there, we spent up to my one month salary just for Uber. <laughs> but we move. Finally, in Abuja, see my eyes. My eyes don't get and I'm hungry. So that was not the end, even if it was supposed to be. So we didn't see food, and the food we saw was not even affordable, and it was too small. It wasn't going to go around. So we had to go to Domino's to go and buy pizza. Let's hold our belly for the night. Eh, uh, <laughs> God. Abuja, and I get plenty problem. Like service charge was another thing we had to battle with. See us calculating service charge. Like we're not even worried about how much the pizza was. But how one take pay the service charge now? Hey, pizza of how much? We paid almost 2k service charge. See us calculating like evil women. But like I said, we move. 